In today's video, we are going to discuss how you can make wizards happy and finally get with the program. Hi everyone, welcome back. MTG Moxman here. If you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoyed the content today. And of course, for all my regular viewers, welcome back everyone. I hope you're having an awesome day today because you deserve it. But that said, if you're having an awesome day, then this video right now may not be the video for you. You might want to just leave now, come back later and watch it, okay? I'm going to count to three, give you a few seconds. All right, you're still here. Now whatever happens is up to you because wizards... They want you to get with the program. They, they've decided. They decided about 20 years ago, but they've decided. And they're going to pull us along. And they, they're telling you stuff. Follow me. I've got awesome cards to show you. You're like, hey, you got awesome cards to show me? Lead away, wizards. And they lead. And wizard says, look at this cool flashy box. Look, look at what I'm showing you. Follow me. You're like, okay, I'm following you. The problem is, the more we follow, the deeper down, that path we go, it's deep. We're miles in right now. It's not exactly easy to get out of. It's deep. Because wizards want you to come along. They want you to get with the program. The program that they have envisioned for us as magic players. They've decided. They don't want us to be loud about it. They want us to, shh, just follow. But can I ask you a question? Shh, follow. So we follow. Modern Horizons 2, fetch lands, right? Come on, that was a blast. I remember opening five on the channel right here. I was so ecstatic to get five fetch lands in one collector box. I was like, ah. But you know what's funny? You know what came afterwards? The thought that some of those fetch lands are really expensive. Some were not expensive. But the idea that it was $510 to get those five fetch lands. There was other cards I got, but it was $510. That's a lot of money. I'm pretty far down that path as a long-term magic player as a guy who hoards a lot of magic stuff behind me and as an entertainment channel not a financial advice channel i get it i am far down that path and a lot of you are with me because wizards wants us to do what they say and follow the program get with it because if you don't get with it you get left behind i know lots of players who have basically stopped buying at this point they're just sitting on the sidelines going hi wherever they are on that path they're sitting on the side, trying to make sure they don't get caught in the thorns. They're like, hi, as we continue down that path. Some players are deep, some people are shallow. They haven't gone that far in. They're like, ooh, no. Guys, this game is only getting more expensive. That's a fact. Wizards is pumping out faster and faster product. It's a fact. Remember the good old uh, mystery boxes? That's just leftover boosters they had in the warehouse. Some marketing guy came up with, hey, let's put a cool box on it and say it's a mystery booster, and they shoved it all together. It's just leftovers. Remember, marketing can tell you everything. When you look at some of these cool products behind me here, you realize some you have, some you don't. Maybe you're envious and you want some of these. I understand that too. That's FOMO kicking in, the fear of missing out. For reserve reserveless cards, I get it. If you're a reserveless collector, I understand. If you're a new product person, don't feel FOMO at all. Not at all. Because a lot of this stuff may go on sale, or you may have the opportunity in the next few years when things pick up for you. Who knows? But the key is to do not just follow wizards blindly down that path. Decide for yourself. Stay on budget. Think about these things before you do it. Because wizards' plan is intricate. It is not simple. They're not saying, hey, you just go this way and you're done. No, 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 no. There are 50 paths down there. Some lead to collector boxes. Some lead to remastered sets. Others lead to secret layer super drops. Some of those paths just lead to challenger decks, commander decks. Different paths, different strokes for different folks. All kinds of different ways. But you know what the funny thing is? They all lead to wizards making money. All of them. And there's nothing wrong with capitalism, with companies making money. That's what they're there to do. And let's face it, they are putting out amazing products. I've said this before. I have no problem with the products they're putting out. They're amazing. I may have a problem with the speed in which they do it, but I can pass on those products and I don't have to buy them. 
I do not have to follow where they lead me. I can choose as a person and say, that is not for me right now. That Challenger deck, it's not for me. The remastered sets, definitely not for me. I'm more of a reserve list and kind of the newer stuff that comes out. I like visiting new worlds, which I wish Wizards did more of. But they want us to follow them. They want you to get with their program. We can alter their path. They do take input from players eventually when they do all their background research to see what people are looking for. That's why we had those little bonus packs in Ikoria. We had the box topper cards. They have taken advice from us. When they did Zendikar Rising, and they gave us a chance for that promo pack, when they gave us that chance to get a fetch land, that's cool. But you know what would have been better, right? Is actually putting fetch lands back inside there. That's what would have been better to do. And more realistic, putting one or two per box. They would have sold better. Wizards would have made lots of money. But you know what? Somebody thought, you know what? Let's make it a little bit harder. We don't want to put fetches ever in a standard set to make people happy. No. No, no, no. We want you to follow us. Get with our program. We're going to lead you somewhere and you have a chance to get it. A chance. We're going to give you a chance. For every 125 bucks Canadian you spend, you get a chance to get one. When meanwhile, you could just buy two of them, right? For a hundred bucks. You see where I'm going with this? Keep your eyes open. Understand what Wizards is trying to do, and then it's not so bad. I love this game. I love to play. I like to enjoy it. I like to talk with everyone on the channel all the time about everything magic. And I'm not really down on Wizards making money. I just don't like it when people seem to not understand where they're leading you and then go kicking and screaming, saying, why is this happening? It's happening because, again, the further we lead them down that path, that's what happens. When you look at all the products behind you, I try to keep most of them in there so you'll know what's come out, so you can see the background. I only have one Time Spy Remastered because I'm not buying that set to open it. I didn't enjoy it. I told you guys it was a skip it product. It's a money maker with nothing in it for players. That's why it sits there. It's a reminder to myself, to people out there who watch my channel, that although Wizards wants us to follow and, and just go where they're going, a lot of players get left on the sidelines deciding not to step into it or to step into particular products and that's it. There's a reason why Reserve List is so popular with so many players. Wizards doesn't really control it right now. They don't say and they don't set the prices for these things, whereas the new products they do. Wizards could always reprint them. They could, they could give us a whole new set of Power 9 cards. They could come up with Vintage Masters and create a whole new series of cards. They can do what they want. And maybe they will one day when they see things not going the way they like. But until that point, as long as we understand where we're going, we keep our eyes open and pay attention and stay on budget with what we want to buy, we'll be all better served for it. Guys, this is MTG Mox, man. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, although they want you to follow, you decide for yourselves where you want to be on that path. Because it's a big game, and it's only going to get bigger as they pump out more and more products. Be prepared for it. This is MTG Mox, man. I hope everyone has an awesome day. Now at the end. Now that all that's over, we can all have a good day now. At the end of the video. And do you like that cool Army of Darkness thing? That was hand-drawn for me. Cool. Have a great one, guys. Hey, guys. Big shout out to all my patrons out there. Thanks again for the continued support, everyone. Looking forward to seeing everyone on the live stream on Sunday. And, of course, week after next, it'll be our next giveaway for the patrons. Have a great one, everyone. Hi. Welcome back. How's everyone doing today? Are we having a nice day? I hope you guys are. These are those new uh, retro foil fabled passages. Pretty awesome, right? I know, right? I miss seeing you guys. I can't help myself. Oh, I know. Two things went in the box. What could that mean? I don't know. Now, let's be honest. Since you're still here at the end of this video, this late of the video, see this? 10K is a lofty goal. I actually believe we'll make it there one day, but it definitely looks like it won't be a year, but I'm okay with that because it only takes one explosive moment and I could go to 10K, right? It could happen.
but the longer we get to do this, the more I get to hang out with everyone, and that's all that matters to me. I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Enjoy the time you have. This is an amazing game that we all get to play. Please remember to bring a friend to Magic and have a great one. Guys, enjoy the day.